Hey everybody, got some stuff here from some 90s breaks that I got into with Sports Cards Detour. I've done these with him before. Basically, he has a lot of like late 80s, early 90s packs and he does these breaks with them and he breaks them up into like different sections like he calls them breakers dozen so each break is just 12 packs just a mix of different stuff and so I bought into a few of them picked a few different teams in each section so got some Yankees had the Yankees a few different times so basically it's just a nice way to get a lot of nice binder material for cheap I'm sure I have some of these but Again, these are pack fresh, so I'm sure I'll be able to upgrade some of the ones I have. Nice Dave Winfield there. Rigetti. Bernie. Everybody's favorite 91 Fleer. So again, got a nice stack of Yankees here along with some other teams. Nice Mike Stanley. He was a big fan favorite here. Had a three home run game once. Brian Buchanan. Nice Polonia. Nice Wade Boggs. Gold Rush. So see, you get a chance of getting stuff like this. Get a chance of getting some old school inserts, which you all know I love. Some of these little dogs. Just a fun mix of stuff. And again, this is just the Yankee stuff. I think I had like six or seven different teams overall. Another Bernie there. And like I said, it's mostly like late 80s, early 90s stuff, but he does occasionally throw in some more modern packs too. CC from Stadium Club. Tanaka. Another CC. Nice Aaron Judge. Did not have that. A-Rod. Another Judge. Cool Yogi Berra from Prism. The Rocket. Another A Rod. Cool shot of the stadium there. I always say they really need to clean up that area around the stadium, though. Those of you that have been there know what I'm talking about. The spot where the stadium itself is is nice, but the surrounding area could definitely use some improvement. And not a really a good neighborhood either. You don't want to be stuck around there too late and this one's cool here pretty sure this was not in any of the packs he opened this pacific nestle bernie williams did not have that one so that's bernie number 608 so thanks for that one diego also had the mets in a few of the breakers dozens so got a few nice mets binder cards cool ricky henderson Daniel Murphy insert. I think this was the final year for Upper Deck. Or final year for Upper Deck Baseball, I mean. 2010. Greg Jeffries, the legend. A few Vince Coleman cards. Dave Magadan. Hojo, league leaders. That's a cool Gary Carter. Shout out to Carter's Kids. Let me know if you don't have that one. Couple Mets rookies, Thomas Nito and Dominic Smith. And here are just some of the other random cards from some of the other teams I had at Cleveland, I think, a few times. Jarrett Wright, man, he really broke onto the scene and then kind of fell apart. Eric Plunk, he was a former Yankee. Cody Allen, cool Lindor. So again, just a really fun mix of stuff. That's why I like getting into these. Nice Edwin Encarnacion. He's going to be doing another one soon. I just bought into that one. Not sure if he's still going to have spots left. So I'll leave his info in case you guys are interested. Mitch Hanniger. Cool Ichiro. So yeah, I had Seattle a few times. I just tried buying some of the teams that had popular players in the 90s. Like pick Seattle because of Griffey. Got a nice Griffey numbered card at a $9.99. So yeah, like I said, he tries to put in a few modern packs in there too. Had the Cardinals, mostly chasing McGuire cards. Pedro Guerrero. Rene Arocha, I think he was one of the first Cuban players to defect in the 90s. I remember he was in the documentary with El Duque and Levon Hernandez. 
Had the Orioles, got a nice Ripken there. Sutcliffe. Ben McDonald, think that's a rookie. Arthur Rhodes, minor league. So again, bought the White Sox looking for some big hurt and got that one. Hitters Inc. George Bell. Nice one from my Puerto Rican collection, Roberto Hernandez. I got a bunch of these little dogs cards. Doug Drabeck. Another one for the Puerto Rican collection, Jamie Navarro. So you see it's a mix of different years, different brands, Palmero. So I bought Texas a few times. Kenny Rogers with the old school uniform. Yerkson Profar. I always make sure to buy the Padres a few times, looking for some Tony Gwynn. I like this 96 upper deck set. Around the time I was buying a lot of baseball packs, I remember buying a ton of those. And I did get this one Tony Gwynn there, so pretty cool. A few more Padres. The Astros, I think I bought them once. Chris Carter. Another Little Dogs. Nice Billy Wagner. Some Dodgers. Jose Offerman. Some Lenny Harris. He was a really solid utility player. Good pinch hitter. Remember, I always liked watching him. This is pretty cool. Uh, Eric Karos minor league card. A few more Dodgers here. I must have had the Dodgers about two or three times. Kenley Jansen. Some Kershaw. Pedro Baez had the Rays. I think the Rays, he just does like a random giveaway for the Rays since they didn't have a lot of cards around that time. Got Wade Boggs. Anthony Banda. Got some Twins. I think a lot of times too, he just throws in like a lot of extras, which is really cool. That's a sweet Kirby Puckett. Let me know if you need that one, Dustin. The Gold Rush. Few more random ones here. Bob Brenly. Brett Butler with the Giants. Don't remember him with the Giants. So yeah, pretty sure that's a throw in. I don't think I had the Tigers, but got that Tony Clark. This one too. Jose Cruz. Don't think I had the Blue Jays. That's a cool one for the Puerto Rican collection. Did not have that one. Some Red Sox, Danny Darwin. Nice Nomar, 7th inning sketch. Mr. Fisher bike, let me know if you need that one. A lot of people working on player PCs lately. Got the Brewers, old stadium there. Greg Vaughn, really liked him when he was with San Diego. I think he was only with San Diego like one or two years, but watched him a lot during that time. Some Braves. So again, I'm pretty sure this is all just bonus stuff he threw in. Kingery rookie. Vargas rookie. And this one's really cool. Juan Soto rookie. Don't think I had any rookies of him. And a blue border of Miguel Montero out of 500. Another cool thing he does with these breaks is he has like a list of players. And if you hit any card of those players, you get a bonus card behind it. So one of my players was Don Mattingly. So not only do I get these cool Mattingly cards, but I got four extras, which I've already removed in the interest of time. And he always says the extras are nothing too crazy, but still some nice free cards. Nice Bregman Chrome, Buster Posey Platinum, Desmond Jennings Platinum. Man, what happened to him? I remember he was a big-time prospect not too long ago. Or actually, it was a while ago. This is from 2012. But, yeah, yet another prospect that didn't live up to the hype. It is nice here. This is Chris Davis from Gypsy Queen. So, again, even more bonus stuff he threw in there. And I also had a few other names from the bonus list. Had Ken Caminiti and Brooke Jacoby. So, Two more extra cards. Got a Chrome Orlando Arcia and 
Nice 98 finest Jim Edmonds. And this, I'm not sure if he pulled it in one of the packs he opened or if it was another throw in. Adam Wainwright relic card. Because he did all the breaks throughout several different videos, so I ended up not being able to catch up on all of them. So some of the stuff I got, I didn't see until it arrived in the mail. But yeah, that's a pretty sweet relic card. Probably end up passing that along to Adam Ha at some point. And these definitely were not part of the break because this is some NBA stuff and the break was just baseball stuff. So thanks for all these extras, Diego. These are some Fleer Gaudi inserts. I remember those from 97, 98. A friend of mine broke an entire box of that that year. Got some Ewings. And he put in a ton of cool inserts in here. Got a Barkley Rebound King. And these were kind of interesting. I have an Allen Houston from this insert set, but didn't know there were a ton of other Knicks in there. Got Marcus Camby on that one. Latrell Sprewell. And Larry Johnson. That was the infamous four-point play. And there's going to have to be a sunglasses warning on these. Some really nice shiny inserts here. Got to get these out of the sleeves. Kickstart Kerry Kittles. Very cool. I've seen these. You can get a lot of them for like under a dollar. So really sweet insert set. Then a bunch of these. The David Robinson profiles. Got Gary Payton on that one. I remember this. It was just David Robinson pretty much giving his opinion on a bunch of different players. Which I always thought was kind of weird. David Robinson was a great player but just not sure why they chose him to talk about all these players Jawan Howard Alonzo Mourning Knicks fans kind of hated this guy but I always liked him he was a really good player a lot of battles with the Knicks during those days a nice Jerry Stackhouse he had a solid career but never really had a lot of Hobby love, maybe because he changed teams so much. And still got to keep your shades on for these. Got some more nice chine here. Tony Batty, new school. He was a good player in college, but didn't really do much in the NBA. Kind of a bench player. These are pretty sweet here, these season's best inserts. A lot of people used to get confused with these because they all said something different on the front so people would think that was the name of the insert this one says front court finesse but they were all just called season's best got Lafonso Ellis on that one another nice carry Kittles he was a solid spot up shooter for the Nets he would really thrive in today's NBA getting a lot of wide open threes really love this one here this Mitch Richmond. Not only does it look sweet, but as I've always said, every time I show cards of him, he was one of the most underrated scorers of that era. I think he just kind of got lost in the shuffle with so many other great players during that time. But there you see he was averaging 25.9 points per game. And again, that just looks really sweet. And I'm going to wrap this up, but before I get out of here, I want to give you guys a quick look at Diego's website. Here are some of the types of packs he opens. And he's recently been filling some more breaks. Not sure how many spots he has open. Right here there's a listing of some open spots, but I'm not sure how updated this is. But there you get kind of a general idea of some teams and some prices. So I'm going to leave all of his info so any of you that are interested in this type of 90 stuff can get in contact with him. A lot of you might know him as Sports Cars Detour, but he also started another channel for the breaks. So... Again, I'll leave all that info in the description, and if any of you are interested, get in contact with them and check them out. And so I'll talk to you guys again soon.